Hey guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be drawing Aaron and his Titan form split down the middle. So it's just two close-ups on their face. Um, pretty straightforward. I've gone ahead and just divided my page in half. So whatever size page you're on, mine's a landscape. You could do it on a portrait page as well. I just find things fit better on YouTube screen when I draw them in landscape. So, um, yeah, so divide your page in half. And we're going to start with Aaron on the right hand side, right? So we'll start with his eye. So we're, we're about center point, right? Center point of my page is about here, okay? And we're going to start just on the right with Aaron's right eye, I think. So we go diagonal up at first, right? And we're, it's real close up on his eye, right? So it's real big. So we'll thicken this line up a fair bit, right? But we'll just sketch in the sort of rough sort of shape of it at the minute. All right, so just up and across like that. And then you can thicken it up, right? So you just make this line thicker. One diagonal that way. And then the top line will make it thicker as well. So it kind of gets skinnier as we go back here. Do it like this. Big, thick eyelid line. Like so. And then curves around here. Like this, and then up to the other side. Like so. And again, because we're so close up on his face, we can thicken this up. Like that, right? So that's the general shape for his eye. Then his iris curves around. Like so. And his pupil, it's kind of, he's kind of sinister looking. So, his, is his pupil kind of long? It's hard to know. Okay, so I'm going to give him his, his pupil looks kind of ovalish, right? So let's just go for it. So we'll, we'll give him a sort of an oval sort of pupil, right? So like this, kind of with the top cut off. And then we'll color it in. If you want to do a circular one, you can. But it's just in the picture I'm drawing from, it looks like he's kind of got this long, longer sort of eye, like so. All right, so just above his eye then, we have his eyebrow. So just coming across the top of his eye, just here. Curves across like so, ticks up, real big eyebrow. Ticks up back that way. Right to a point kind of back here. And then the front of it, you've got a frown line, and then up here, then across. Back to the pointy part back there. And then he has sort of hatching lines hairlines going up that way. You can do as much of that as you'd like. And then his eyelid line comes down like so. And then we've kind of a line for his nose. So it kind of comes down this way, down the front here. Like that. And then we have those um, 
hatching lines, right? So like, you know, this thing that um, Attack on Titan characters tend to have when they're like being real. Well, they all have it, it's all drawn in, but it's, it looks like it gives them a sort of intensity, do you know? Just there on the inside of his eye. And then we got like some extra details around his eyes here, some sort of bag lines and stuff like that. And then of course we have the Titan marks. So they're kind of these raindrops that go around his eye, just here. So we go around in a circle, follow sort of the bottom eyelid shape, adding these kind of raindrops coming out from there. So then the rest of his nose. So we got like, so this kind of goes in a little bit and then pops out. It's a real long sort of line, right? Goes down this way and then comes out like here. Like so. And then we skip a bit and just add a nostril just down here. So like nostrils like there. So he's got a longish sort of nose. Just kind of sticks out to the side. So what we can see of his mouth, so just down here, we go curve up and then down. So we can only see half, so it curves up and down. And then you might be able to see like a little bit of his top lip and then a little bit of his bottom lip, just here. And his chin all the way down here. So you can check proportions of things now. So eyes to nose is about the same as nose to chin, right? So nostril area, right? So here to here, about the same as here to here. Bottom of his nose, right? Bottom of nose to chin, about the same as eye to nose. So here to here, say so like his top eyelid, about the same as there to there, approximately. Doesn't have to be exact, but that's the kind of thing you're going for. And then nostril to bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin. Approximately. So once you get that, then we'll do his jaw. At the side of his face, you want to stop just here and across from his mouth. Just say underneath these last sort of drops, just there and across from his mouth. Because that's where you change direction for his jaw. So we go up the other way. Like so. And then we got um, a hairline, so like spike here. It's like a sideburn, and then his ear will come out from that sideburn down, kind of in line with his eyebrow. See that? And then the bottom of the ear lobe will go all the way down and be in line with his nostril, just there. And then ear lines inside. Like, so the easiest way to do ear lines is literally just like this, and that's it. Just a letter J and like a bump or something. But usually animes like to add a bit more detail, so you can add a couple of extra lines coming up and around like so. And he's got some like shadow lines hatching inside the ear. And then we we'll go up around for his hairline, right? So his hairline, like the center of it just here, right? So you're about, eyebrows to top of the head is about the same as eyebrows to nearly to his nostril there, right? So you just don't wanna go further than that, right? So you don't wanna go, say like nostril to eyebrow. You don't wanna go bigger than that anyway, because then his forehead will look way too big. So here to here is about the same as here to here. It's approximate, doesn't have to be exact. So don't stress yourself out too much about it. So then, We're gonna do zigzag hairlines all the way around, back down to his ear, okay? So we're 
carbon down just past his eyebrow here. Like that. I think he's got some like wrinkles. He's like older, so I guess he's got some like wrinkles on the side of his eye or something there. He also has some hair spikes sticking down nearly to his eye, right? So just coming out from his hair here. If you go on over any lines, we can erase them because you should be using a pencil for these. And then another one coming down this way. Like so, and then, so they don't like curve in or anything. They just, they seem to just come at, grow out from his hairline. Like so, right? So they just kind of go in there. Uh, so we can erase any lines we go over. Right, so then the rest of his head sort of comes up, bumps up and around. Like so. And it'll go off the top of my page, just off up that way. And if you want, you can add like some hairlines and things that come, like go this way, you know? Just follow the growth of his sort of his hair out from the side of his head. And some come in like this way as well. You know, just something simple like that. And then um, we'll go down for his neck, just here. And then his trapezius sort of comes off there somewhere. And then we got like neckline and maybe like an Adam's apple line there as well. And because we're Attack on Titan, we'll do some hatching lines just coming up and down his neck. Just kind of gives it a shadow feel. And um, they're done incredibly straight. So, you know, you could use a ruler or a straight edge if you were looking for that, like, perfect straightness. But um, that's the general idea there. And then the rest of his hair, spikes coming down from his neck. Just there. Right, so that's Aaron, right? So we'll go over and do the attack the attack Titan, right? So the proportions of the Titan are a little bit different to Aaron. So they don't like perfectly line up. I lined up the eye and the chin, right? But the rest, the nose and the mouth kind of don't line up, okay? So we'll start with his eye, but the chin, right? The chin lines up here, All right? So we'll, we'll put his chin in anyway. And the eye kind of lines up generally with this top eyelid, right? And I'd say if you're looking for a distance over, so like eye width, would probably fit nearly inside, but it's a bit big, but it's close, right? So the, the Titan's eye will start like there, okay? So the gap between their eyes is just about Aaron's eye width, his big eye, right? And the Titan's eye is much smaller, so it curves up, up and down. So the proportions of the Titan are a little bit different to human, so. And then this curves around the bottom for the eyelid, just here. So it kind of looks like a lemon or something. And then his iris, just a circle inside the middle. So, and a pupil. Okay. Right, so, let's see. Right, so we got um, the eyebrow, the sort of frown line of the Titan, right? So, curves this way, kind of ticks off that way. It goes underneath hair, but his brow line will kind of go off up that way, okay? And then he's got a dark, shadowy section all around his eye. 
all around here and it kind of meets hair coming down this way so big long piece of hair right curves all the way down and in here is dark black So also then there are like some like skin lines and things and this piece of hair will keep going all the way up towards Aaron's hairline, right? All the way up to there. So that's like the Titan's length of his hair, real long, right? And the Titan can have, you know, bumpy sort of skin. He's not like smooth or anything, so. That. He's got scars all over his face, but we'll get the main proportions and stuff in first. So, the nose, right? So, kind of comes down just here, kind of bumps, bumps a little bit like that, and then it doesn't line up at the bottom, like the teeth line up. So the nose is kind of higher up. It's kind of in line with this part of Aaron's nose, right? So it kind of bumps out that way. And then the nostril comes around here, so. And the Titan can have like some cheek marks coming down there. And then the Titan's teeth, right? So the teeth sort of line up with the nostril here. So like the first tooth bumps out here, okay? And then comes around down underneath and up, right? And then we just go across for the top layer, five or six teeth, just across there, okay? And then we'll bring him down around. So, and the bottom layer, so he's got like another step up, right, for the jaw, but we'll do the bottom layer of teeth first, right, so just to get him in the right place, so we go spike up here, like that, right, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So then we have that step up that he has, that weird sort of jaw. So it steps up that way. And then we have three teeth here. So it goes up around the back. Kind of like the molars at the back, just there. And then three down the bottom. So. Again, like some sort of hatching and stuff, maybe some like details just there. You know, some, some rough skin lines. And then we have the chin in here, so, but like roughly proportions, right? I'd say the eyes to the bottom of the nose is the same as bottom of the nose to say where his bottom lip would be like, you know, here. So like proportions aren't way off, but it's because he's a Titan, it's kind of weird. So eyes to nose, about the same as nose to bottom lip, okay? Nose halfway between eye, bottom lip, approximately. So then um, he's got some like hatching lines under here. And then his jaw comes up the side, up to there kind of curves in, it goes up underneath his hair. And then more sort of detail lines here. Um, oh yeah, okay, so those scars. So come, one comes across there. If you go over any lines, you can erase them. And he's like got some scar lines inside. He's got a big one coming down his cheek here.
from the tight, the tight, the fight with the jaw titan. So he's got like all these scars on his face. I think there's one more down the bottom, just here. Like so, and then, so kind of like neckline going down. So like, like Aaron there as well. And some hatching. Uh, so then all we need is the rest of his hair. So it kind of like comes out like so. Kind of, yeah, spikes out here. Well, curves out more so. Like that. So we can't see the top of Aaron's head, but we can see the top of the Titan's head. And this curves down sort of like that. bumps out around like so and he's got like like strands of hair sort of sticking out so like bumping and waving out here and then it goes back up into his head and then more hairlines kind of sticking out like so They all sort of bump and weave and go all down the side of his head. He always reminds me of Iggy Pop. <laughs> um, let's see, is there more? Yeah, there's more. Here. Another sort of hairline sticking out the side. Doop. And then one more. So, yeah, there's no easy way. You just gotta like be brave and just add some lines, go carbon down his head. Like that. And There's all like different sorts of shades and stuff inside here. Some maybe sticking up the top. Um, like so, and then so I'll just maybe try and smooth that up a little bit. So then his, his ear, right? So he's got like it's kind of in line with his the bottom of his eye, right? It kind of sticks out. He's got like kind of an elf ear. And it just sticks out sideways here. Goes around. Down into there. And some lines inside. Like that kind of thing. Some hatching maybe there. Like so. Um but I think that's everything, guys. Just adding just an extra line weight just to Aaron's hair here as well. Um, yep, yeah, I think that'll do. That is how to draw Aaron. Split picture with his Titan. Hope was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.